Hello, today I want to present this uh, old computer to you. It's a Soviet uh, micro lab uh, computer. It's a, from 1987 um, and it was designed as a training computer to teach people about uh, how computers work and uh, to, to, learn, to start learning machine code. Um, the uh, chip is this, has this very long abbreviation, but it's KR580IK80, but actually it's uh, a clone of an 8080A, an Intel chip. Um, and as far as I can tell, the, the assembler, the, the, yeah, the machine code is exact, exactly the same. Um, it has uh, one kilobyte of ROM, one kilobyte of RAM, um, it also has a little chip here um, which you can take out and which has some, some built-in programs. I'll show you one of those um, at the end of the video. Um, and it, it does the job. I, I, I'm not a programmer, although I'm interested in computers and, and uh, I dabble in programming languages. And by having this machine and by having the, uh, the book that goes with it, I have started to learn um, Assembler. It has a very simple um, input output. So there's this keyboard, which is hexadecimal numbers, some basic functions, uh, setting the address, writing to the address. It actually does have input and output from tape, although I haven't worked out how that works yet. It has this eight digit display. Um, it has eight LEDs and it has three switches. And it can also switch from automatic mode to step mode. Um, so for debugging, which is which actually I have found really helpful because as, as I've discovered, uh, writing uh, machine code is a nightmare <laughs> and you'd have to debug everything. Um, so um, yeah, that's that's the machine. If there's if there's interest, then I'll gladly do some some longer films about it. There are some really good films um, in Russian, but as far as I know, this is the first one in English about it. Um, so I have actually managed to write a program which works. It's incredibly. Um, impressive. No, it's so. Uh, it's just a little game to play with my children, um, and the idea is that one child chooses a let chooses one of the keys, let's say B, and then the other child, having not seen that, uh, has to guess, and then it makes a beeping noise. Um, so it can do more than this. Obviously, the um, as I said, it has some demo programs built in, although I haven't discovered all of them. The one which my children like the best is, of course, this one. It's stored at address 300. I have to stop the program. So 300, set the address, and here we go. It has a volume control. So that's the um, the computer micro lab. Um, it has the other advantage that it looks like a spy computer in this uh, this uh, briefcase. Um, if you'd like to uh, see more about this computer, see some more programs, or um, see similar videos um, about old Soviet computers as I managed to collect them, then uh, please like, um, subscribe, and comment.